That's right, Nick. It was a very difficult morning for the people living here at Apple Creek Apartments, and you can see some of that aftermath here behind me. Some of the things in the apartments aren't even recognizable anymore. There's a few pieces of a couch, it looks like right there, an air conditioning unit, a mattress pad, a framing of a chair, but honestly, a lot of these places are now unlivable. Now, I'm going to walk you back through when we first got to the scene earlier this morning. The fire department tells us the first call came in around 10 this morning at the complex just off I-69 in Anderson. The flames quickly spread, but the fire chief tells us his crews got it out in under two hours. Now, eight apartment units are left with extensive damage, and as you can see, many of those are unlivable now. Luckily, nobody was hurt in the fire, but three cats were rescued and taken to the vet. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Now, I spoke with one of the neighbors who helped get people out of the burning building, including a woman from the apartment where the fire started. Our neighbors were good to each other. We watch out for each other. We support each other. So I wasn't about to just stand there and watch that building burn and know somebody could have been in there. It would have been right. The Red Cross was out here this afternoon and will be helping anyone who was impacted by the fire. Now coming up at the top of the hour, we will be talking with someone who lost everything in the fire in one of those units here behind me, and you will hear from him around 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live here in Anderson, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News.